Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 28 of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. I wanted to be all fancy and just start right in front of the guild or something, but apparently Keller had something to say before we get back, so let's get into it. Oh, right, yeah. Let's get into it, I said. So, <laughs> we should go over to Shapedo Bluff before we go back to the guild. Just in case Probal has come back. Let's go check out Shapedo Bluff, yeah? I honestly did not think of that. I am sorry. So what I... <clears throat> excuse me. What I did was I linked some moves. Finally, <laughs> because I never used to do that. But maybe it's not a bad idea, so... I linked some status condition and attack moves, so... I don't know, for bosses it might not be bad and for little enemies it won't hurt. I guess. I hope. I can always delink them. Um, and yeah, the, that guy also said something funny about how the world is a funny place. Because who would have expected Groval to be the bad, uh, the good guy? And Dusknoir, the bad guy. I know, right? Same. <laughs> uh, I wonder if Groval's back. Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Aww. Oh! Uh, Groval isn't here. Oh! Over there! There's a sheet of paper here. There's something written on it in footprint runes. Oh! This is a letter from Groval. It must be a message for us. I'll read it. Keller began reading the letter from Groval. To Yam and Keller. How are you doing? How goes your search for the hidden land? Things are going well on my end. I've already collected three time gears. I have to find only two more time gears. I plan to join you when I've collected all five. Plans have proceeded smoothly. I said that his friends understood the situation and they have fully cooperated. Really now? That's great. Asylph told me that members of your guild let them know I was coming. Thank you. It's heartening to know that more and more Pokemon are coming to trust us. However, I will continue to stay away from Treasure Town and the Guild. First, I'm not certain if the Pokemon in this world trust me entirely or not. But there's something more troubling than that. Dusknoir is liable to return from the future at any time. What? The Dusknoir? Come to think of it, Dusknoir failed to get rid of us in the future. I wouldn't put it past him to chase us here. He still wants us gone. Oh my god, I didn't think of it. <clears throat> anyway, okay, I'll finish reading. Since Dusknoir will be coming, we should keep a low profile. Mm -hmm. uh, this is another reason I should stay away from Treasure Town and the Guild. I may instead come back to Shapita Bluff or the beach. If we should meet, we can then exchange information. Good luck on your end. Together we shall stop the planet's paralysis. From Groval. Okay, it, it sounds like Groval is hard at work. We can't fail on our end. According to this letter, Groval will show up either here or at the beach. If we go down to the beach, maybe we'll see Groval there. Let's go to the beach before we go back to the guild. Okay, we just went there, but I mean, maybe in the time between us picking up that bottle and now who knows who knows Woo, chapter 18 lapras mm. I was hoping to see Groval here. I guess he's not here after all. <sighs> Speaking of not being here, the Krabby aren't here either. They always come out to blow bubbles here in the evening. I love seeing the bubbles go floating away in the evening sky. <sighs> well, that's too bad. It's a letdown, but... Oh, oh look, yeah. 
The sunset is sure pretty. You know, it was my dream to solve the secret of my relic fragment. But I would have never guessed that the relic fragment was connected to the hidden land. That reminds me. It was here, wasn't it? My coughing and his sidekick stole my relic fragment. Cue flashback. <laughs> Sorry, kiddo. We'll take that. Ah! Wow, not gonna make a move to get that back. What's the matter? Too scared? I didn't expect you that you'd be such a big coward. Come on, let's get out of here. See you around, chicken. <laughs> I remember. I was too scared to go get it back. You gave me courage, Zania. You know, that was how we really started as a team. Getting back this relic fragment was Team Raw's first adventure. And now, we're using the same relic fragment so we can go to the hidden land. If you think about it, it's kind of strange, isn't it? That's true. My adventures are with color and searching for the hidden land. The relic fragment was the start of both. This pretty sunset. It will be lost if the planet's paralysis can't be stopped. We have to stop that. We can't waste any time finding the hidden land. We have to do good tomorrow, Yam. That's right. We have to try hard. I must fulfill my mission that I had that I had before losing my memory. My mission with Robal. A mission to help the Pokemon of this world and those of the future. Are you sure? Are you sure you're helping those of the future? What? S say, Yam, that... What is that? It's the sunset. Oh, no, that's not the sunset. <sighs> there she is. At least I think it's a she. Is it? What, what could it be? It looks like it's swimming across the sunset. I think it's a Pokemon. Uh, no, what? What else? Well, that's a little strange. The sun's almost gone. We should go back to the guild soon. Let's go. So that happened. Who is it now? Oh, of course it's you. God, I hate them. <laughs> Chow, the Krabby went around for a good reason. They ran off, scared of us. <laughs> Whoa, but Chief, that old timer Choco wasn't lying to us after all. Yeah, the junk we stole back then. I didn't know it was going to be something that valuable. So what? We'll get a relic fragment from them one way or another. That means the hidden land is going to be explored by none other than us, Team Skull. <laughs> Whoa! <-ho. sighs> if you could see my face, it would look like that. Nom 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 nom. And it's a full moon. <laughs> No, oh, they're sleepy, sleepy babies. It's you again. I think this game aged really well. I've been thinking that recently, it's just... It still looks pretty. Like... Like genuinely, not just nostalgia factor. I, I think it looks really pretty. Lapras! Long time no see. It's been too long, Wigglytuff. You look well. Is Chattered doing well too? Yes, very well. I'm glad to hear that. I've always meant to thank you. I deeply appreciate the promise you made and upheld for all this time. No problem, no big deal. But today, I am here to see you about that promise. We find ourselves in a situation where we cannot afford to uphold that promise. I suspect that you know why. So please tell me about that strange pattern we once saw. 
Oh. The next morning. Abenedum, it's morning. Boop, boop. Uh, good morning, Yam. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. I'm always trying to press uh, the wrong button <laughs> for confirm because I've been playing Undertale. <laughs> I'm the famous great, by the way. Ahem. And so, as you are all quite well aware, Guildmaster has not yet returned from his errand. However, I intend to set off for Brian Cave as scheduled. Hey, hey, where'd Guildmaster go anyway? Um, I wouldn't know that. Is it going to be okay without the Guildmaster? No problem, there is no need for your concern at all. Guildmaster must have decided that we can manage on our own without him for the time being. That's why he hasn't come home yet. Furthermore, in the place of our absent Guildmaster, you have me to lead you. Uh, 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 why isn't anyone saying anything? I, it, it can't be. Do you all think that I'm not up to the task? Are, are everyone out with it? Am I, perhaps, inadequate, worthless to you? Ah, uh, ugh, nope. I wouldn't say that, by golly. When Guildmaster isn't here, it just feels less safe. Hey, hey, you know the Guildmaster, he's hard to figure out. But hey, hey, he really comes through when things get rough. But the Guildmaster isn't with us now, so we have to take charge and do as he wanted. That's right. I'm sure that we can get the job done on our own. Let's go for it on our own. You're right. We can't count on the Guildmaster for everything. Oh yes, that's the spirit. Let's do our best. Chattered. The Guildmaster is absent, so there's only one among us who can leave. That's you, Chattered. Huh? Oh, who? M me? Of course, you said so earlier. You said it would be fine because you're here to lead us. Lead the way. Show us, Chatter. That's right. Show us, Chatter. Hey, hey. Yup, yup. I'm counting on you. Uh, <clears throat> well, everyone, <laughs> you can always count on me when things are bad. What's the matter, Chatter? Sound to call the duty already. I know, I know. Commencing now, we shall depart on a guild's exploration of Bry Cave. Everyone, let us excel together. Hooray! Hooray! Let's go. Oh, it's quite close. Now, listen everyone. This is the entrance to Bry Cave. Your objective is to reach the deepest part of this dungeon. That is where one will find the same odd pattern inscribed on the relic fragment that color has. However, it is there where an extremely vicious Pokemon lurks. Uh, extremely vicious? Because that sounds scary. <laughs> hey, hey, Chattered. What is it? Yesterday, Guildmaster said something about that vicious Pokemon. But Chattered, you seem to know just as much about this dungeon, hey? Chattered, is it possible that you've been here before? That's right. I have come here before. I explored a long time ago with the Guildmaster. It was uh, deep in this cave that we saw the peculiar pattern. It was then, however, those tough Pokémon appeared. So, wh what were they like? Uh, t tough, you say? Uh, I'm afraid I don't remember at all. Huh? You don't remember? Yes, but I am loath to admit it. They attacked with no warning out of nowhere. I was knocked out before I could do a thing. When I came to, the guildmaster was tending to my wounds. But I had no memory of the events before that. So I couldn't tell you what the, the attackers were like. <sighs> that gives us nothing to go on. So we don't know what kind of enemy we're facing? We'll have to make our way slowly. Well, wait, please. Say, Chattard, at first 
first you said there was one vicious Pokemon, but then you said they attacked you. Maybe they're non-binary color. Why? I'm sorry. There's m more than one? Uh, no, it wasn't just one. You're right. There was one extremely vicious Pokemon, but it wasn't alone. When they attacked... Oh, I remember now. They attacked all at once. I recall getting slammed with water. Like a tidal wave. Like a tidal wave? That could mean water type moves. Mm -hmm. We're a ground type. We don't like water at all. I hope we don't have to fight enemies like that. It would be awfully dangerous to make a go of it alone. Mm, that's right. We should make several groups to explore the cave. We'll do that, sure. Yup, yup. Hey, hey, we should form teams that don't bunch up types. You two. Remember what the guildmaster said yesterday. The two members from Team Law must be in my group. Therefore, you two shall accompany me when exploring this cave. Understood. I trust you won't hold me up too much. Oh, you must not expect me to do everything for you. It's up to you to look after yourselves. Ah, uh, understood. Alright, everyone. We're off to conquer Brian Cave. Let's give it our all. Hooray! Love how he's like, don't hold me back, but if we survive the future, you know, just saying, just, just saying. Okay. <laughs> Chief, looks like those louts from the guild are already inside. Whoa! Should we follow them? <laughs> Sounds good. We'll track them, but let's keep out of sight. When the right time comes along, somewhere in the cave, that's when we'll grab that wimpy colors relic fragment. Then we'll hightail it to the deepest part of the cave. We'll grab all the glory of solving this mystery. <laughs> Brilliant, Chief. Your plan's perfect. John, <laughs> naturally. Anyway, it will be us, Team Skull. We'll be the ones going to Hinland. <laughs> Whoa. -ho -ho. Cha -ha. Well, we won't have to deal with them much longer, is all I'm saying. <sighs> okay. So, let's see what this cave has to offer. Um, and what our friend has to say. Now, now, where do you think you're going? Now, this is where things turn nasty. Do be careful. Hehe, <laughs> you don't need to be concerned for me. But he likes it. <laughs> he likes it. Do we have any items here? I did not check. Um, we'll just go to the next floor. Might as well. Brian Cave. Two items. Oh, okay. I don't really need a blowback orb. Silence orb is good. Let's go. This might go pretty fast. Ooh, we got me. Four items. I want to see what Pokemon are here. That's the only thing I have, only reason I haven't sped up yet. Apple. Oh, okay. So, what did you just do? Okay. Let's go for it. Eh. Ouch! What the frick? What just happened? Uh, oops, that was not what I meant to do. This is way overpowered! This is horrible! It's not like I'm swimming in revival seeds. Freaking hell! I swear, if we die, I will be so mad. Oh god! What the frick? Why isn't it dead yet? It's dead. Okay. I just lost two revival seeds. <laughs> that is insane! I don't like this at all. 
probably should have trained and done some missions before going here because this is... I don't like this. Okay, okay. Well, we'll keep moving and hope we don't die because that would suck. <laughs> See you soon. Okay, here we are. We've gone pretty far down. Hey, Cheddar! Are we almost at the place where you saw that pattern? We're nearly there. We don't have far to go. However, as I've told you before, every step also takes us closer to those vicious Pokémon. Yep, we can't get careless. Anyway, it's not far now. Let's keep it up, Yam. Oh no! Ouch! Whoops, excuse me. Hey! Whoa, long time, weaklings. Oh, you're that nice team, eh? This is it. The relic fragment. Th that's. <laughs> I'll take this. Hey! Whoa, this is the second time you're getting mucked for this. Hey, <laughs> you don't learn very well, that's for sure. Wait, please. I'm afraid I'm not following what's going on here. Why are you even here? We haven't seen any of you from... And, yeah, from Team Scout since you suddenly disappeared during the expedition. I fretted for your well-being. Worried, huh? <laughs> your girl's full of gullible nin... What? Nincompoops? What is that? Whatever. Just waiting to be fleeced. Ho ho! Ah, uh, you, you. Oh, that was probably an oh, oh, oh. Your demeanor and language seem to be much coarser now. Chat out. They were fooling the guild all this time. They are a bad exploration team. Team Skull is a bunch of crooks. Obviously. Oh, what? Is that true? Well, oh, what else? Espresso. What else? You've had to be naive beyond belief to be fooled this long. <laughs> anyway, now we've got a relic fragment. Now we have just, but now we just have to go to the hidden land. Eat your heart out, nitwits. Cha <laughs> ha That's not. That's a very graphic thing to say. Why did none of you stop them? So squawk. So squawk. Those stinking scoundrels. Pay me for a fool, will they? <sighs> Squawk! They, they won't get away with this. I show them what it means to trifle with me. Whoa. Oh, wait, Cheddar! He, he's gone. Cheddar was really upset. I hope he'll be okay. After all, there are those vicious Pokemon he'd warned about he he'd warned us about looking ahead. And we have to get my relic fragment back from Skunk Tank. We should hurry too. Yeah, we should. I'm still mad about those two revival seeds. <laughs> I'm getting really worried over Chatter. Let's get moving. Yes, 
Um, that's but uh, we will. What's the time say? Um, yes, let's keep this for the next episode because otherwise it might get too long. So see you next episode, and thank you for watching. Bye.